Hi everyone, hope you're all doing very well. It's the end of the week. <clears throat> Gonna have a little chat with you. If I was to find a picture of Vladimir Putin and George W. Bush, that's the one that was president during the Twin Towers, dressed in what looks like Freemasonry apron gear. If I was to find a picture like that, would you entertain this next thought? What if Putin, Yongji of China, uh, forgive me if I've not pronounced his name correctly, it's X I Junip, the leader of China, Biden, Bushes, Clintons, all of them. What if all of them are all working to the same end? What is that end? Well, it's simple. It's what George Soros told you was coming. The New World Order. Now, if this is true, and this can be proven, this will certainly mean that the Ukraine war is bogus. Just like Vietnam was bogus. Just a money-making machine at the end of the day. But it serves two purposes, doesn't it? When there's a war, it keeps you locked in fear and it keeps money rolling in for the Rothschilds, Black Rock Incorporated, Vanguard Incorporated. What I keep telling you, the pinnacle of all the power of the world. Or those that lurk in shadows. A quotation from the Queen of England during Lady Di's own funeral. There are dark forces which we know nothing about. I can't do her accent that well. She said that on camera. You'll never find that footage anywhere. They've completely removed it. No trace of it. Of course, back then, when was it? Was it 87? It was a long time ago. There were no way to capture quickly what a person had said a top celebrity and then get it out to the world the way we can do it now for now a celebrity can do something that they're not happy or they might be ashamed about and if someone's got it on their phone it's around the world and it's discredited that person as quick as that but back then you couldn't do that I'm gonna try my best to find that photograph I really need to find Putin dressed in his apron and Bush in the same picture. That means they're initiated Freemasons. Putin and Bush, the Clintons, George Soros, Nelson Mandela, Hollywood celebrity uh, people, those at the top of the pinnacle of Hollywood will probably be initiated Freemasons, probably 33 degrees. Now it's starting to make sense why Trump had to be removed. He had to be removed because he was a hindrance to their plans. What are their plans? Well, I think it's to let China take over as the next world power. I don't believe, of course, that the Messianic Kingdom will allow this. But in man's eyes, he's not looking like that, is he? He's not looking as, as far as that. He's only looking to his own immediate concerns. And so I think that Biden and most of the Democrats are going to welcome China as the next world power. Because I think they've already invested in China. I think that's what it was all about at the start of the election. Hunter Biden's laptop, everything else. I think they already pushed all their money into the Chinese economy. I think all that will come out. That will definitely come out at some stage. You can't hide something like that. So I would expect that if China is going to make a move along with Russia's help, then they will have to then sort of stage a world war. We'll have to stage it. Now, there's one thing you need to consider, and that is that these global elites, what I call the modern-day Nazis, um, 
they're no different from the way that the Caesars used to behave in Rome. They gave the peasants, they gave them an enemy. That's a distraction. The gladiatorial games. Then they could highly tax them. They could take a load of money off them. And the peasants would think, well, we've got the games. Oh, we love the games. So they never complained. Now, what are these modern day Nazis doing? Well, they're running the system down. They're deliberately running it down. And so they give you this war as a distraction. And so you've now got a common enemy, Putin. But if Putin is just a Freemason, along with Bush, along with all the rest, that means that they're all working to one end. And they must really, by now, be laughing at us all for buying into this bullshit. Why did they not allow independent journalists in Ukraine? Well, it's simple, isn't it? They only want their own Freemason press there so that they can control the narrative and the lies what come out to us. They can have full control over that so that when we listen to their report, we believe what they're saying is true. But what happens if it's not and it's just scripted and it's a lie? That's all I wanted to say. Goodbye.